And welcome back to Rule and Hummer's Direwolf 20 server series. This is episode 3, and I'm here with Rutharius. Playing with Hello. His, playing with his big stick. <laughs> my, my manual and broadsword. <laughs> Indeed. Well, we've got some work to do, haven't we? We've got a nice little wheat farm behind us that's, uh, that you set up last last episode, and that's servicing yes. as well. It's, we're definitely... It's, it's... It's Have growing rather spectacularly, actually. <laughs> it is. It's good. And I love the sprinkler. It's good. I know. It's an awesome sprinkler. It is. It absolutely is. Ow, ow, ow. Snowballs. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Uh, ah. You hate it when you forget the key to... <laughs> uh, <dear. laughs> It'll be snowing soon enough. <laughs> Indeed it will be, because, unfortunately, we are in that sort of a biome. Yeah, and winter is coming. Winter is oh. indeed coming. <laughs> uh, well, so, um, any, any awards for anyone who, who knows uh, what uh, <laughs> Rule's been watching lately? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I've been slow, slow to take, pick up the, the, the slack on that one, but, you know. <laughs> well, we've, we've discovered a bit of a challenge, haven't we? Yeah, just a just a wee one. We've gone back but into our little base here, and you've you've polished this up quite nicely, real. I quite liked what you've done here. Where are about you? Oh yes, yes. Here. Our digs are digs are doing quite nicely. I know quite they're, they're coming along. Uh, when, uh, in in between recording sessions, I, I generally get a little bit of time. But yes, indeed. It's, um, I'm looking forward to, uh, what you're going to start showing off next. Yeah, I, I, there's a couple of things in Chisel that I want to, want to show off in the, in the very near future. Very good. But, uh, we, we have a slight crisis on our hand, don't we? We do. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of these snowballs. I don't think I necessarily need them. I'm no, we don't need armor, snowballs. Armor back on. What little I have. <laughs> um, so... Currently, our energy setup is that we have this sterling generator, and that is currently using piles of ash from the nether. And it's, as you can see, it's slowly consuming those in there, and currently the buffer is empty, which is means that our capacitor bank was depleted a little bit because we had actually run out of ash. And uh, all of yeah. our AE system here, which is uh, uh, up and running, consumes a continuous amount of power when it's running so I've actually yeah, even if you're not using it which causes yeah. some issues so that, that's when I've at the back here I've added a little switch here so we can actually turn the AE system off um, yeah. so that'll actually stop depleting the power from the capacitor bank and yep. it'll recharge a little bit quicker um, but of but, course uh, the, the eventually the energy cell underneath the AE uh, the ME controller here will deplete and the AE system will turn off yep but uh, we have come up with a slightly better power solution, haven't we? Absolutely. And uh, as people who follow the uh, the Die Wolf, um, Die Wolf mod pack uh, will know that uh, in this particular season, uh, in version with 1.7, that um, big reactors has been added in. Yes, and we, we were busy in between sessions making a whole lot of stuff. That's right. So um, we've put together all the necessary components to build uh, a basic beginner big reactor. And, and that's what we're going to do next because mm -hmm. our current power supply is not going to uh, continue to provide us what we need, especially once we get into some automated quarry hijinks. Yes, which we're wanting to do very shortly because, let's face it, mining's boring. Absolutely, it's boring, and I tell you what, a cobalt hammer can only go so far, <laughs> even though it does does work quite nicely. Oh, um, yeah. It, uh, it's definitely a very slow and laborious process. So we want to get some automated mining going, and for that uh, we have got a uh, in this chest as well. I think I've already crafted an ender quarry. Um, in the bottom line there um, so we'll be able to get a quarry going fairly soon um, but we've got a few other challenges once we get the power issue sorted out we we have to find a better supply of ender pearls yeah 
Because um, currently what we're doing is just going around killing Endermen and Enderminis as, as we see them, and it's not terribly efficient. That's right, and we need quite a few Enderpearls to craft um, additional components needed for the quarry because, you know, we don't want to put the quarry in our base because, you know, it's going to turn everything to dirt or it's going to create a hole in the world, and that's not going to look pretty. No, especially not, not after I put all the effort into making the place look nice. Well, I mean, it's getting there. It's still a lot of work to be done, but as you can see, it's a little bit sort of We needed space for the reactor. <laughs> yeah, we need to put some space here for the reactor. But, um, uh, yeah, so we need to get some, some ender pearls. So I'm actually thinking we might see if we can venture to the end. Ooh, I've never been to the end. Ever. Well. Um, Ever at all. The only problem with venturing to the end, of course, is the only way you get back from the end is if you kill the dragon. I am in for killing dragons. Well, that sounds like a plan. So let's get started with that. We'll we'll put together the big reactor, and uh, and we'll give everyone an update shortly. So does that sound like a plan? Uh, it sounds like a plan, Dan. Sounds good. All right, yes. we'll be right back. Catch us later. Alrighty, so in a couple of seconds we should have multi-block. A case of multi block did that just transform looks nope. like it did no nope. nope. i built something wrong you've done something wrong rultharius what have i done wrong uh, i should be able to tell by right clicking with an open hand <laughs> oh that's... okay it said that the block is not valid for use in the machine's interior have you got something inside there that shouldn't be no. I've got the fuel rods. Delorium fuel rod. And I've um, got the... There seems to be a bit of a, a wall missing. Mm. Where? Oh, f dickhead. <laughs> no. Do you want to uh, pop out? <laughs> yeah, I think I will. <laughs> and yeah, maybe it might have been a telltale, telltale sign that you actually had glass left in your inventory, but anyway. No, I had glass in my inventory before I uh, picked anything up, so. Okay, and do we have multi block? We have multi block! We do! Look at that. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty and considerably more safe than what we were using last time. Well, time will tell. Uh, okay, so this thing requires coolant, and we're going to use gold as the coolant. Well, gold, uh, gold is going to um, transfer the heat from the core to the casing. Yes, it's the casing heat that matters with these particular ones. Uh, and unlike our last n nuclear reactor, um, it's not as finicky about certain things. That one, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, that should work. Indeed. We shall find All out, right. won't we? Uh, and if we pop, pop. Excellent. Now... Multi-block achieved. Multi-block achieved. We have valid blocks inside. We did, uh, I did experiment with this in water in uh, single player and it didn't work, so... <laughs> yeah, water didn't do much, so... No. I mean, the other thing to do to keep it cool, of course, is if we had some uh, some fluids that we could put in there. Uh, like cryothium, which cryo is extremely yeah. expensive to make at the moment, so... Yes. I, I think eventually we'll give it an upgrade, but... And we need to find some blizzards and things like that as well, so... Yeah. But to, at the moment, it's... Uh, I think this will do us nicely. We should, uh... Is it, have we got some eulorium? Yep, in the chest there. I left some there. Oh. Take the eulorium. Uh, and uh, hang on, we need one of these to be an input and one of these to be an output, don't we? So if we right click output mode, they, we got one input, so we click on the input and we put the eulorium in and it fills the fuel rods. Excellent. Ah, oh, you're putting power down. I am running some cable. I'm going to uh, test attempting, the reactor. To, but um, it's going to be very messy cabling for the moment because I'm being a little bit. Okay, ready? Activating reactor. Green light. 
okay, so case casing a reactor temperature four hundred degrees. Casing yep. heat three hundred and fifty seven. And okay. we're getting one thousand one hundred and nineteen redstone flux per tick. Nice. It's it's not massive, but we're not using ideal coolant. We don't have it for coolant. How much redstone coolant. per tick we got? You say? Ah, uh, one point two k. Yeah. One point one two. Sorry. One point one two k. Yes. That, that's pretty good. I mean, it's filling up the um, the energy buffer nicely, nice and quickly. It's already up to almost eight percent. Yeah. So it's uh, that that's looking quite nice. Yeah. I mean, it's. Um, now we did a bit of a test earlier of the Ender Quarry, and um, and my testing with the Ender Quarry without any upgrades, it was consuming about six hundred and twenty RF per tick to mine, um, to to mine things. So um, cool. So that's taking like half of this thing's output. Yeah, it <laughs> straight is straight up. <laughs> um, so that's uh, pretty impressive. Uh, what mm. I do is. Well, we are. I will. I'll work on upgrading the coolant and everything we're using, so we'll get more out of it, for uh, and increase the efficiency of it. Yeah, well, but, I mean, it's a, it's a good start, right? So yeah. we've, we've got. Uh, we do have um, uh, a reasonable energy production, and the energy buffer is filling up. So the other thing that we need to do is we need to put some automation on this. Yes. Uh, because at the moment you can see there that the the core is 100% full of fuel, and it's consuming uh, 0.83 millibuckets per tick. So, uh, yeah, and it's showing there that um, currently it's already created 205 millibuckets of waste. Yep. And so the waste yeah, fuel's 1.8% depleted, and yes, but uh, we were using the red net, weren't we? That's which right. I so, have installed around the back here. Okay, good. Well, with the RedNet uh, controllers down the back here, if I can. I will connect the cables. Oh, did you got the cables? I've you got, got the cables. cables. Here. You you, you do the cables. Okay. Yeah, you, know, you can do the cables. All right. So what we do is we just connect up um, these two ports here. Now um, the position here is a little bit awkward. So let me just. Um, Expand. This is server space, you can break Ex blocks as much as you like. Expand a little bit because it's a little bit crowded by for my standards, I think. Let's give it that it's a of... server space, it's supposed to be crowded. Uh, but yeah. So, red net port. So, these. Oh. Whoops. Maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> You were there, and then suddenly not. <laughs> Indeed. Let me just reconnect. Now, I I did read up. There is a butter zone you can try and get the uh, temperatures in, but. Okay, so the um, with the red net ports on the back here. If I right click on this port, and my Minecraft doesn't crash, which is a good thing. <laughs> um, so the, there's with red net ports, you've got all of these different colours, and they're all different channels. And um, and the settings on the right um, are the, all of the different things. So we've got um, the ability to toggle the reactor on and off. We can change the control rod insertion up the top there, uh, eject the waste, um, output fuel temperature, and all sorts of statistics that we can use uh, to understand what's happening with the reactor. But there's um, a very simple way that you can use these to regulate um, how the reactor p performs. So if we mm -hmm. take um, and maybe put the in the white channel, um, we'll put in the energy amount, yep. and then in the uh, purple channel, we'll put the control rod. Mm -hmm. Actually, we don't need to do that, I don't think. Let's get rid of that. I'm pretty sure all we need to do is just put. So what we're doing is we're outputting the energy stored in the buffer as a, and that's been reported as a percentage across the white channel. Yep. Now on the other uh, red net port, I'll just connect that up with another cable, like so. So they're now talking to each other. 
Mm -hmm. So on the same white channel, uh, I'm going to put in on the other port the um, control rod, the input for controlling the control rod insertion percentage. Ah. So then, what that means is as the so we're outputting the energy amount on one port, and then we're importing inputting the control rod insertion depth on the other. And they're uh, talking, yep. talking on the same channel, so that means that the energy amount percentage will actually change the percentage that the control rod's inserted. Ah, okay. Sweet. So, what that will mean then is as the reactor builds up its buffer, it'll start to produce less and less RF per tick. Because it's no longer needing the yeah. output. Well, uh, so for example, at the moment, the energy buffers are just under 67% full. If we yep. quickly zip up to the control rod up the top and right click on the control rod, you can see that it's already at 67%. Ah, uh, look at that. Beautiful. So the percentage of insertion will match the amount stored in the, um, in the reactor. Excellent. So as the buffer fills up, eventually the buffer will get to 100% and then the control rod will be inserted at 100% and the reactor will be effectively shut down. Oh, wunderbar. And, uh, as, and, we, and as we as we empty the buffer, um, the control rod will pull out again. And you know, depending on how much energy is being pulled out and how much energy is being produced, will affect. Um, it'll find an equilibrium. Yeah, nat naturally. Wonderful. We have we lots go. of power. Lots of power, indeed. So now, now I've got some work to uh, make this all look pretty. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. and. Uh, our reactor is slowing down its production, which is good. So it's now only consuming 0.21 millibuckets per tick. Ah, yes. Excellent. So we're not wasting fuel. Wunderbar. Yeah, because if we just left it the way it was, it would always produce 100% no matter what. No matter what, and the buffer would be full, and it would still produce the same amount of energy, but be mm. going nowhere fast. Which which is the, uh, if you don't automate them, is actually the downside of big reactors, so... And considerably safer than the industrial craft reactors, although uh, they can they can still play up. So don't think that it's going to just be sunshine and roses all the time. But with the controls that we have in place, uh, no big bada boom. No, no big bada boom. No big bada boom. It all will right. not get hot enough to worry about it. Um, all right, so we need to do some preparation because I think we want to go and play in the end. Yes, we do. So we need we need ender pearls. We do. We need Lots ender pearls. Them. We need a good supply of ender pearls, and for that, um, we will need to get ourselves geared up, get some armor, get um, a nicely enchanted bow, perhaps. That'd be nice. Yes, yeah, exactly. Love enchanting. All right. So let's get some preparation done, and we'll be back shortly. Are we ready to die? Yes, we are ready to die. Are you sure we're ready to die? We've got. I'm standing on my soapbox. We're ready to die. <laughs> You're ready to die. So, equipment check. Uh, yes. I don't, don't need any redstone on me because that's that eight redstone is all the redstone we have. Okay. All right. So you got enchanted armor. Yes, I have armor. projectile protection on everything apart from my helmet, which has just protection. Sounds about as useful as my my enchanting. So I've got feather falling on my boots, blast protection on my legs, unbreaking only on my chest, and mm -hmm. protection one on my helm, and aqua affinity. And for my bow, I have power one. We have six, I have sixty four arrows. Yep. I have eleven bread. Are we ready? I think so. Let's do this. Alrighty, let's go, Sports Co. Let me just sleep for a bit. <laughs> you completely phased out, phased out of the bed there for a second. Nice. Okay, now I have everything we need. We've got our eye of vendors. And we'll go plonk, plonk, plonk. It's weird, I could see you putting them down, but I couldn't see you. Blonk. Couldn't see me? No. I Still? can see you now. Ah, I was just updating. 
wrong, 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 wrong. Ready? Yep. Steady. Mm hmm. Go! You first. <laughs> but, but, rule. Alright, whatever. <laughs> uh, where am I? What is this place? Um, so. Oh, oh shite. Dragon incoming. Um, oh! Um, 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 we have a problem. What? What's the problem? Where's the dragon? The problem is. Jump down to the cloud here. You missed the cloud. I missed it entirely. Alright, so. That was, that was really unfortunate. The, what? La the landing platform. That it generated is in, in midair. Ah. Uh. But the cloud actually was very, very useful because I could jump into the cloud and it actually s s totally destroyed the fall damage. Yeah, I wasn't that lucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the end. Welcome to the end. <laughs> um, but we've we've only just started. Oh. <laughs> Um, uh, all right, we need to get up to the surface, so let me do that. Yeah, look at the end one. All right, so you can see the little things on top of the pylons. Oh, yeah, yeah. We need to shoot them. Okay. Them up. And don't look at the end one. I didn't. Got one. That was lucky. I did nearly look at one then. Got another one. Oh, that one's a bit unfair. And of course, watch out for the Ender Dragon. Here he comes, wherever he is. Got That's, it. You can see him in the air up there. He's recharging uh, all these pillars. No? Wait, where is he? Oh, there he is. Hello, Ender Dragon. We need Enderman. to take out these um, recharge pillars. Yeah. Oh, he's coming straight for me. Yeah. Ow. Uh, which is quite awkward given the height of some of them. Ow! That hurt? No, nah, not really. It looked like it hurt. I mean, mean, it wasn't pleasant, but. Oh, goddamn Enderman, go away. I know you love me, but. Hey, hey, there he is. That hurt. Uh, I might see if I. Go away, Enderman. I mean, I'm sitting here going, go away, Enderman, but we're in their home. Oh, I missed him. Might give me a better angle on some of these. Okay. <laughs> so I can hear his Enderman noises. So, it, took half it my was health. a... Oh, God. Oh, go away, you... Got it. Still How little. many arrows have I got? Seven. I've got seven arrows. I've got nine. Make them count. Yeah, I missed one. Come on. I'm in your big whore. Going that way. Here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes. Ice. You, I think you lagged. Here he comes. Here he yeah, comes, I here definitely comes. did. Six arrows left. 
Yeah, you're lagging big time. Oh. You're shooting, shooting the air. Ow, ow! <laughs> that was rude. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm lagging hard. Get in there. You've got two hours left. Two. Ow. No arrows left. Pushing two sword. Come on, Ender Dragon. Come back down here. You know you want to. Here he comes. Straight for me. Ah, we got him. We got him. Here he comes. Here he comes. Almost dead. Almost. Got him! Yes! Take that! We win. We win at Minecraft. <laughs> we do. We win. Look at all that XP. Holy... Jesus, 65 levels of XP. Yep, and I got 42 out of it. So well done. Holy crap. Ender Dragon was a bit of an epic battle. Ender Dragon vanquished. Well done, Vanquished Rosarius. the Ender Dragon. Vanquished it. We vanquished add it. That to, add that to my raid boss list. Sweet. So... Now we have access to the end. We have this portal take us back to our bed. Excellent. And we've got the dragon egg up the top there. Ah, so we can hatch another one of these things. Well, maybe. <laughs> Leash its doom upon the overworld. Unfortunately, though, we need a, a piston to collect it. You can't actually you hit, the, hit the egg with the URA sword. It moved. No. How very interesting. Mm-hmm. No worries. Well, success. We have got our Ender Dragon killed. We have seen the end, and Rule has successfully vanquished a Minecraft boss. Woohoo! Now all we need to do is get ourselves sorted out for the Wither. Yes. Mm. Let's go get some withers. All right, guys. Well, at this point in time, I think we'll probably call this at the end of the episode. Mm-hmm. On a good note. Yes. And uh, we'll get ourselves set up in the end here so we can successfully and easily farm these nasty, nasty, nasty dudes. Oh, there's an enderman with a T-Rex hat. Go kill him. He's mine. I love that guy right now. I was hitting his feet. T Rex hat! Nice. And an ender pearl. Hang on, hang on. Where is it? T Rex, I need the T Rex hat. T Rex. Done. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I won it off an enderman. Well, you know, what, you know what I wanted. I think I just got it. Mm. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. <laughs> oh, very nice. You like that? <laughs> I very do. Good. Very good. All right, gentlemen, people. We'll catch you in our next episode. Fare thee well, kind people. See you next time. Bye.